Here are three details you might have missed in the new Sizzle Season trailer for Splatoon 3. Number one, the new weapons, but more specifically what the weapons are based off of. The new paintbrush is based off of a fan brush. These types of brushes are commonly used for both painting and applying makeup. And this is really exciting to see since we haven't gotten a new brush since Splatoon 1, so it's been a long time coming. The other new weapon being the S-Blast 92 is based off of the Super Scope, which was an accessory for the Super Nintendo that was released back in 1992, hence the name S-Blast 92. It was meant to be a successor to the NES Zapper. However, it was never as successful as the Zapper, which led it to being a bit more obscure. And so, you might know it better as that one item from Super Smash Bros. You know, with the rapid fire blast that you can charge for a big blast attack. And this is also a really exciting new weapon for me because I've been waiting for them to add this weapon since they added the end zap back in Splatoon 1. Although I expected it to get added in as a charger, but it does make sense that it would get put in as a blaster when you factor in that the super scope is based off of a bazooka. And speaking of bazookas, we have number two. The new music, more specifically the new band, that being Yoko and the Gold Bazookas. Now for those who don't know, all of the music in Splatoon is both canonical and diegetic, which means that all of the music in the game is written and performed by characters that canonically exist in the universe. And all of the music you hear in-game is being played within earshot of the player character. And as for this new band, they're actually not 100% new. You see, Yoko isn't a new character. She was the trumpet player for Ink 3, which means she must have decided to start a new band. It's also worth mentioning that the Japanese name is Yoko and Friends, but we're going to have to wait for the new album art before we get to know who Yoko's new friends are. And on top of that, they always add new music and groups, so we are going to get at least two songs from Yoko and the Gold Bazookas, along with at least one other new or returning band, if not even more. And to continue on with the band lore, we have number three, the new Salmon Run stage. So the interesting thing about the new Salmon Run map is this building in the background. You see, the building has Omega-3's logo on it. Omega-3 being the Salmonid band that makes all of the Salmon Run music. This means that this building is their headquarters, which makes sense with the map's name being Jammin Salmon Junction. The building even has giant horns to blast their music from. And those were the three details you might have missed in the new Splatoon trailer. Did you know about any of these? If so, tell me in the comments along with your thoughts on the trailer. Also, this is the first time making this kind of scripted content on this channel, so I'd also like to hear your thoughts about the video overall down in the comments as well.